For decades, we've been told conflicting information when it comes to eggs. Are they good or bad for your heart? Do they raise cholesterol levels? Should you avoid them altogether? These questions can leave anyone feeling overwhelmed and confused. So, in today's video, we'll dive into the truth about eggs and heart disease. And finally, put an end to the conclusion once and for all. We'll explore the science, look at some key studies, and debunk the myths surrounding this controversial food. We'll also discuss the main problems that can come with eggs and show you how to avoid them. Stay tuned as we crack open the truth about eggs and heart disease to empower you with the knowledge you need so you can make the best choices for your heart and overall well-being. But before we get into it, can you do us a favor? Click on the thumbs up and help us spread the word about heart disease prevention and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest info so that you can live a long, healthy life and stick around to find out how to get two heart healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. Okay, let's go. In 1961, Ansel Keys introduced the idea that saturated fats and dietary cholesterol were the primary culprits behind heart disease. This notion quickly became the dominant message, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. Today, the conversation has evolved, with many doctors and scientists now questioning whether cholesterol and saturated fats are indeed the true causes of heart disease. For instance, in the famous 2004 Rotterdam study, researchers found lower rates of heart disease in participants who consumed higher amounts of eggs, cheese, butter, and liver. These foods, traditionally labeled as bad cholesterol foods, have in fact been shown to potentially reduce calcification in the heart. Likewise, we have the French paradox, a whole population of people who regularly eat butter and high-fat cheese, yet have low levels of heart disease. Statistically, only 50% of heart attack victims have elevated cholesterol levels, which implies that the other 50% are within the recommended range, yet they are still having heart attacks. Interestingly, some evidence even suggests that those with higher cholesterol might actually live longer. For instance, a 1992 study by American scientists found that low cholesterol was predictive of increased mortality from gastrointestinal and respiratory diseases. The same research continued to monitor over 100,000 healthy individuals for 15 years, observing that those with low cholesterol were hospitalized more frequently due to infectious diseases. Similarly, a 2007 meta-analysis of 23 studies published in the BMJ found that patients with low concentrations of LDL cholesterol lowered as a result of taking statins are at significantly more risk of being diagnosed as having cancer compared with patients with higher concentrations of cholesterol. This emphasizes the idea that maintaining low cholesterol isn't necessarily the best approach. There's more to it than that. Now, while cholesterol itself may not be inherently harmful, Problems do arise when cholesterol becomes damaged or oxidized. Oxidation occurs when cholesterol particles are exposed to free radicals, which are unstable molecules that damage cells and tissues within the body. These occur through things like smoking, toxic foods, and other factors. When cholesterol particles become oxidized, they disrupt cellular function and integrity, triggering inflammation and contributing to various diseases. Oxidized particles are more prone to accumulate and damage artery walls, forming plaque deposits, causing the arteries to narrow and become less flexible, and ultimately leading to a condition known as atherosclerosis. The point is, rather than just looking at cholesterol levels, we want to look at cholesterol quality. But what about eggs specifically? 
One trial, published in the Journal of Nutrition, found that eating three eggs per day actually improved the quality of cholesterol in overweight subjects. The researchers recruited 28 overweight or obese men who all followed a carbohydrate-restricted diet, while 50% of them also ate three eggs per day. Both groups reduced their risk of metabolic syndrome due to the carbohydrate restriction. However, the egg group also increased their levels of HDL cholesterol, widely known as good cholesterol. HDL's role is to transport excess cholesterol from the bloodstream to the liver for processing and removal from the body, keeping the whole system working in harmony. So, you might be asking, what makes eggs so good? And are there any caveats? Eggs can be described as a complete food because they boast a comprehensive nutrient profile providing a wide range of essential vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. One of the most notable benefits is their high-quality protein content, including all nine essential amino acids. These amino acids are crucial for various functions, such as muscle growth, tissue repair, and immune function. The complete protein in eggs provides a valuable source of energy and supports the synthesis of hormones and enzymes. Eggs are also an excellent source of healthy fats, including monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. These fats are vital for brain function, hormone production, and the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. Moreover, eggs contain omega-3 fatty acids, which are well known to suppress inflammation, aid brain function, and reduce the risk of heart disease. They're also rich in vitamins A, D, E, K, and B vitamins, which contribute to healthy vision, strong bones, and proper nerve function, as well as a good dose of minerals such as iron, zinc, and selenium, which are crucial for red blood cell production and immune health. This is an extremely rich nutrient profile for a single food. And, as if that wasn't impressive enough, eggs are one of the best natural sources of choline. Choline is vital for cell membrane formation. It's especially important during pregnancy, as it supports fetal brain development and may help to prevent neural tube defects. In later life, choline deficiency is associated with a number of problems, including fatty liver disease, kidney and pancreas problems, muscle deterioration, elevated homocysteine levels, and increased risk for cardiovascular disease. Therefore, eating eggs is a good way to get enough choline and avoid deficiency. Furthermore, special antioxidants in eggs, such as lutein and zeaxanthin, promote eye health by protecting against macular degeneration and cataracts. Finally, eggs have a low glycemic index, meaning they do not cause a spike in blood sugar levels, which is important for keeping diabetes at bay and supporting heart health. Okay, that's the benefit of eggs. Next, we'll discuss the points of caution. But first, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Okay, let's get back to the video. When choosing what to eat, it's important to consider not only the type of food, but also how it was produced. For instance, pasture-raised and free-range hens produce eggs that are higher in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, vitamin E, and other essential nutrients compared to eggs from caged hens. This is because pasture-raised hens can roam freely, forage for a diverse range of food, and engage in natural behaviors. In contrast, caged hens are typically confined to small spaces, unable to move, and solely eat commercial chicken feed. Imagine a human locked in a cage unable to eat real food or walk and exercise. That's not going to produce healthy offspring. In the pasture-raised hen, 
All of this contributes to better egg quality and greater benefits when we eat it. Now, you might be asking, does it really make that much of a difference? The answer is yes. In 2019, researchers looked at how people's bodies respond to food from animals raised under different conditions. The study showed that eating the same types of food, like eggs, cheese, beef, and butter, from animals raised differently, led to significant differences in important human health markers, including levels of conjugated linoleic acid, omega-3 fatty acids, and inflammatory factors. In other words, if you eat a caged egg, which has very little omega-3, inflammatory markers may increase. On the other hand, a pasture-raised egg, which is rich in omega-3, may actually reduce inflammatory markers. Researchers concluded that the way that animals are raised does indeed lead to significantly better effects on health in humans who consume their products. All of this highlights the fact that it's not a question of are eggs good versus are eggs bad? The question is, are you buying quality eggs? So the beautiful thing is, the simple choice of buying pasture-raised and free-range eggs can tip the odds in your favor. Similar trends can be found in many foods. Grass-fed beef is known to have higher levels of healthy fats and lower levels of inflammation-causing compounds compared to grain or soy-fed beef. Likewise, wild-caught fish tends to be healthier than farmed fish, which are often treated with antibiotics and raised in crowded conditions. The different diet and living environments results in wild-caught fish having a better nutrient profile and fewer potential health risks. And in a groundbreaking 2021 analysis, scientists zoomed in and identified that grass-fed milk contained significantly higher concentrations of micronutrients such as terpenoids, phenols, carotenoids, and tocopherols compared to grain-fed milk. These nutrients are known for their anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antiviral, and anti-carcinogenic properties, further supporting the idea that the way animals are raised has a direct impact on the nutritional content of their products. So it's an important part of the discussion to consider how your food was grown, what nutrients or chemicals it received, whether the animal was full of inflammation and stress hormones, and in turn, What's really going into your body when you eat that food? A simple rule of thumb is to think, was this food grown naturally? Now for the final and potentially most important part of the conversation, cooking oils. When cooking, the oil you use makes a huge difference. It's crucial to avoid vegetable oils as they easily go rancid and oxidize, damaging cholesterol and contributing to disease. Oils go rancid when they're exposed to heat, light, or air, leading to the formation of free radicals and other harmful compounds. Just as rust can eat away at a car's metal, causing it to weaken and become less functional over time, oxidation in many popular oils can cause the oil to break down and become toxic. This is particularly true for polyunsaturated oils, which are more prone to oxidation due to their chemical structure leading to inflammation and increasing the risk of chronic diseases. These include soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil, grapeseed oil, and cottonseed oil. To minimize oxidation, it is recommended to cook your eggs with methods that don't require oils, such as poaching or boiling. Alternatively, you can use heat-stable oils like coconut oil, which is more resistant to oxidation. Coconut oil can withstand high heat without breaking down or giving off toxic byproducts, making it a healthy stable oil. Plus, coconut oil contains medium-chain triglycerides, which are metabolized differently in the body and have a number of benefits. So, to wrap up. The long-held belief that eggs are bad for heart health has been well and truly challenged by solid research. Studies show that dietary cholesterol and saturated fat are not the true causes of heart disease. 
that oxidation and inflammation are the true concern, and that eggs can be a safe food. They are nutrient-dense, rich in high-quality protein, healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which all contribute to overall well-being. However, it's essential to choose pasture-raised and free-range. And when cooking eggs, opt for methods that don't require oils. Otherwise, use stable oils like coconut oil. We hope you found this video useful. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And remember to get your two free gifts, the surprising truth about fat and cholesterol, and the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them. And remember to like this video and click the subscribe button, so that you can stay up to date as we release new videos. It really does help a lot. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a happy and heart healthy day.